Hi lovely wine drinkers, I hope you're okay. It's Thursday Thursday and we have another lovely wine to recommend to go with your dinner. If you like our feature it would be fab if you could like and subscribe. So now the weather's getting better I'm mainly eating salads which is not really my thing but I do find they taste a lot better with a glass of something crisp, dry and refreshing. So this week I've chosen a beautiful Provence Rosé, the Bastide de Favre. This is a light salmon in colour. It's lively and delicate and full of wonderful notes of crushed rock, citrus, peaches, orange blossom, fresh red berries. It's absolutely lovely. So this particular Provence rosé is made from a blend of three different grapes, Cinso, Syrah and Vermentino. So the area of Provence itself is made up of limestone and clay soil. And the Bastide de Favre vineyard, Domaine de Favre, um, is sheltered in the west by some hills. Also has two natural springs that come up in amongst the vineyards in the grapes. Um, and those two things help to give the wine its freshness. So, I'm not sure exactly how much you know about rosé making, but there are several ways in which they do it. They'll often blend red and white juice together. And this is done during the fermentation process. So they have the red and the white juice in two separate vats and they'll draw off the red juice six to 48 hours into the process, depending on how dark they want it. And they add it to the white juice. For better quality rosés, they'll do something called direct pressing, which is where they'll make the red wine in the same way they make white wine. This extracts just a little color from the skins, but they must take care not to extract too much tannin. And this process produces very delicately flavored and colored Roses. So I hope you enjoy it and you never know, I might even be a little bit thinner next week. Happy drinking team, take care and have a lovely week.